Hello, I'm Jonathan Cobb with the World Nuclear Association, and today I'm talking to Kai Markkinen, Minister for Environment and Energy for the Finnish government. Kai, thank you for joining us today. No, thank you for inviting me. We're just approaching the, the final stages of COP28, so I wonder at this stage, what are your hopes and expectations for this COP? Ah, well, uh, this is a quite nervous moment as we are all waiting for the next compromise text from the presidency. Uh, but uh, definitely it's a large leap forward from mankind if and probably when we are able to sign common text about some kind of uh, fossil phase out. We, of course it will be a compromise, and but the important message for the world business community is that invest out from fossils because that's, that's the road for all the nations together and taking into consideration the geopolitical situation that we are more ripping apart old agreements than signing new ones so, so this is uh, still a positive sign that at least all the superpowers have the common vision that climate is something that we must tackle together it's, it's, it's can be not divided between borders. So you mentioned about investing in clean energy, and of course, mm. Finland has recently bought online Oklu to three. Mm -hmm. um, what effect has that had on the energy market and the economy in Finland? Well, that's been a very crucial in us, uh, our, our path, uh, actually, when we have cut off Russian electricity, which was 10% of our electricity mix two years ago, and we also imported natural gas. Now those are fully off. And at the same time, Oklu to three, the Europe's largest single nuclear reactor, has been uh, leading us to a situation where actually quite uh, strangely the electricity prices are now lower than they were uh, before the uh, attack and, and, and currently currently we, are, we have positive uh, outlook forward that of course we also increase wind capacity but hand in hand we need also base load and, and definitely uh, increasing nuclear capacity is uh, cornerstone of our uh, carbon neutrality by 2035 program. So that's the benefits that nuclear is bringing now, mm. but uh, Finland is one of the uh, signatories to the ministerial declaration that has the goal of a mm. tripling of nuclear energy worldwide by 2050. Mm. So I wonder what steps will Finland be taking to help achieve that goal? Yeah, we will reform our nuclear legislation in the, during the next two years and we are doing it in a, in a sense that we of course keep the safety first, but we want to be the most lucrative place to investments to new nuclear. So we modernize the approach of our uh, radiation surveillance agency and how we permit nuclear things, especially when it comes to smaller modular reactors. And actually Finland's capital region Helsinki has a project now to develop uh, nuclear for district heating. And actually in Finland, uh, most of the population in the capital region uh, support the idea of having a modular reactor also producing uh, heat for, for homes. So, so that's, that's what we are heading especially forward since we are in a cold country and the heating is quite important part of the energy, energy usage as well. So uh, lots of good use of nuclear going forward, lots of new mm -hmm. uses of nuclear energy. Thank you very much to Finland for supporting the ministerial declaration and thank you Minister for joining us today. Thank you very much and we are always ready to go forward with rational and technology neutral approach to that carbon neutral world and then it definitely means also using nuclear. Indeed, thank you. Thank you.